Now, an eight on your side investigation. Betrayed and abandoned. He put his life on the line for his country in World War II. Now, this decorated veteran's life is on the line again. But is his country turning its back on him? This veteran's family is telling us that they were told that the benefits that he has are running out. And now, he's running out of time. Senior investigative reporter Steve Andrews has been looking into this. And Steve, this man served his country bravely. No. So why is he having trouble getting the care he deserves? I guess there's paperwork to push. You were talking about a former Marine who received the highest honor that Congress can award a civilian. And I can tell you tonight, I know the VA is working to make this right. 90-year-old James Coles Jr. is a veteran who went to war for his country. His family hopes his country won't let him down when he needs it. James joined the Marines when America entered World War II. He was a member of the Monford Point Marines, the first African-American unit in what was then an all-white Marine Corps. James and others trained at Monford Point at Camp Lejeune. He didn't talk much about that. James Coles was with the Marines when they retook Guam in 1944. As radar tech, he tracked enemy aircraft. In 2012, he and other Monford Point Marines were awarded the Congressional Gold Medal for outstanding perseverance and courage that inspired social change in the Marines. At age 90, he's one of three surviving members of his outfit. But at age 90, his son James III points out his dad needs assistance from the VA. We out of options right now. We had no benefits left. James was a patient for two years at James A. Haley's Nursing Center in Tampa. His family moved him home earlier this year. His health declined. He's in the hospital. His family claims James has exhausted his insurance benefits. He served his country in World War II, and they think it's time the VA, in Abraham Lincoln's words, care for him who shall have borne the battle. But the Coles family found returning James to Haley is no easy task. So he was in the system. Mm -hmm. Now they said he's not in the system. Then he said, we don't have any rooms. The VA tells us it can't confirm or deny that James Coles was a patient. If any veteran has an issue, it recommends they call the patient advocate office for assistance. He signed a contract saying he will lay his life, give up his life for this country. Now he's back. I reached out to the VA, a veterans advocate, a VA social worker, and Congressman Gus Bilirakis's office. Now, late this afternoon, Florida's Department of Veterans Affairs called me. It said it had heard from the congressman's office that it has a nursing facility in the Land Lakes area, and the director of that facility will reach out to the Coles family sometime this evening. So it looks like there's, we've Progress. greased the wheels. Yeah, yeah. No, that's really good. But you mentioned he was at uh, Haley, wasn't yeah. like in two years, you say, why can't he just go back there? Well, that's a good question, and what I am told is that that facility is undergoing renovation, so the bed count is actually lower than usual, but I am told they're going to take care of this guy. Yeah, they, they need to do that, for yeah. sure. All right, thank you, Steve. Sure.